Hi everyone, Bob Rotruck here one more time from the Glens Falls Civic Center on what is going to be a very emotional and bittersweet night to be sure. It's the last time we are seeing that that Phantoms logo at Center Ice that you can see just uh, past my left elbow or so, I suppose. Uh, isn't it incredible? I mean, how quickly five seasons go. Go all the way back to October 3rd, 2009. The largest crowd in Adirondack Phantoms history was 5,411 for the debut game of this new team. And it's just sort of a circle of life thing. Jamie McGinn, the old brother of time again was on the Worcester Sharks in that game and scored the game-winning goal. He had the game winner in the first ever Adirondack Phantoms game when the Sharks defeated the Phantoms 3-2 to with a few seconds left. And now for the final ever game here at the Glens Falls Civic Center. Time again, of course, Jamie's younger brother has been loaned back to the Phantoms just in time to be here for this final game. And, and obviously time again has been one of the most popular players in Adirondack Phantoms history. It's just incredible uh, to think about. It is going to be an emotional and a bittersweet night. There will be lots of thank yous to the fans for their five years of terrific and wonderful support over the years here. And, and you know, now it brings us right to the end, I suppose. And it's more emotional, I guess, by the fact that we don't know if this is the last ever game here or just the last Phantoms game here. Will there be a new team coming in? The Phantoms are uh, very proud to play that role of in attempting to entice a new team and trying to help Glens Falls prove to the world, the rest of the American hockey league that yes this market can support an AHL team that yes the business model can work here and that these are truly uh, diehard hockey fans in the North Country more so we like to say than uh, a lot of other cities that we've been to around the American Hockey League and the fact that we are going to likely get another sellout tonight the fourth in the Adirondack Phantom season and 13th all time for the team's history I think it's testament to that I mean the team is obviously on its way out the door not going to the playoffs did not have the kind of results this season that any of us would have liked yet for the last ever game here and the last weeks actually great crowds and probably a huge crowd tonight so it's really going to be bittersweet and emotional and one more chance for these fans of Glens Falls to prove to the AHL the Calgary Flames who of course are looking for a new place to put their team uh, that this place uh, is is just rocking when it gets going here uh, the other big news for the Phantoms of course is the pro debut for Shane Gostaspare fresh off of his national championship with Union College on Saturday. What a wild and emotional roller coaster of a ride it's been for the Ghost playing for the Phantoms, <laughs> appropriately enough. Shane Gostisbehere is leaving college a year early, made that announcement on Tuesday. Then on Thursday was his first practice with the Phantoms, and then just a few hours later he was back in Schenectady in their championship parade and uh, got a little bit emotional there when he was expressing his words to the crowd and, and talking about their importance and his, the importance of his time at Union College and how excited he is to turn pro. And uh, I, I think you can... Uh, kind of understand why he would be emotional on that. Wow, what a wild week it has been and certainly an incredible run to that championship for the Union Dutchman and now Gostaspare with all of Union College watching him as well as a lot of interested Philadelphia Flyers fans will be making his pro debut here. It's his first game since winning the championship last Saturday when he had that unheard of plus seven performance in the 7-4 to four win against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Uh, Carson Chuback is out with an upper body injury that he suffered in Wednesday win at the Syracuse Crunch. Phantoms have won three in a row in five of their last six, by the way. They're going out with a bang and have just two games left, including this home finale, on the bus and a long overnight ride after this one and playing at the Hershey Bears tomorrow. Anyway, so Chewback is out of action. Tony Capobianco is the goalie who came on in relief and got the win on Wednesday. He's a newcomer out of Canisius College. That was his first pro win, and now the Phantoms have brought back Matt Weninger, another goalie who has yet to make his pro debut out of St. Lawrence University, but maybe he'll get to play one of the two games games this weekend. I am guessing Capobianco goes tonight. I thought he was very good on Wednesday in a 5-4 to four shootout win at the Syracuse Crunch. But that's all, you know, kind of some secondary storylines. The big news here, the bittersweet and emotional evening and thanking the fans for their wonderful support and a large crowd expected cheer for the Adirondack Phantoms. Getting the Glens Falls Civic Center rocking for the Phantoms one more time. And we'll see you tonight here at 7 for the fond farewell night and the grand finale.